My next two guests have got the night off from pulling pints and breaking up fights in the Queen Vic. As mother and daughter in the Carter clan, they're having to deal with everything that life can chuck at them. Off screen, it's just awards, awards, awards being chucked at them. Will you please welcome Kelly Bright and Maddie Hill? Let's hear you. <laughs> Do you know, I can't believe I've got you here. <laughs> no, really, because you're always filming. I'm just <laughs> delighted you're here because I love the Carter family. Oh. I say, and Nancy, and Nancy, a lovely girl, eh? Yeah. No, she is. She's a, and Mick and Linda, I have to tell you, they're the most loving couple since Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> no, they really are. And I'm, I'm terrified that they're going to split you up, because they always do. They did it with Kat and Alfie, and I was on the phone to Jesse Wallace saying, tell those writers I'll have them. I know. Leave, leave you we alone. Did, we, fought, we fought to sort of not go down that yeah. route a little bit at the beginning and just said please 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 you know let's 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 be a happily married couple exactly. <laughs> let's do yeah. that yeah but linda's having a bad time at the moment isn't she i, I mean, know she really well, is she's gone through it a bit hasn't she you're telling me she is <laughs> it's looking up is it yes yeah are you gonna give the storylines away here <laughs> no that's no, right no. exactly you want to tell me i won't tell no one no, i'm just about to just tell you absolutely your ears and turn your tallies off okay <laughs> What's it like, Kelly, when you get a storyline like that, like the rape story? Because that's pretty harrowing. Um, ooh. And beautifully handled, by the way. No, oh, really. thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, thank yeah. it was, you. wasn't it? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Um, it was. I, do you know what? I think that, um, I felt really honoured, actually, to be part of it. And I think that EastEnders really dealt with the storyline beautifully yeah. and with huge respect. Mm -hmm. Um, for the topic and and what I feel really passionate about is that we have stayed as truthful to what that re is really like for people as possible right down to Dean not getting convicted yeah. and all of that which is not the norm you know um, often you have to be seen to be putting the bad guy away and all of that but I'm really I'm really proud of that I'm yeah. really really proud of that but it is it's it was it's been hard going but it's been brilliant as well you yeah. know I've loved doing it. I know that sounds really no, weird, no, it's but as an actress, yeah, exactly. yeah, it's, yeah. it's fantastic. It was yeah. an amazing opportunity. They're a right lot, aren't they, the Carters? Oh, yeah. I mean, look at <laughs> that. I mean, I love them. I see that. I love Auntie Babe. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Did you get so evil at the week? moment? But she got the hand out the car giving oh. us. Oh, she's going to turn she, that one. I didn't know she was doing all that. Oh, no, yeah. I, do you know what? I didn't know no. the extent of it until I watched it. Because we're week. in the scene. She's nice as pie, isn't she? And I was watching on telly going, oh, my. Yeah, she goes out she kicks off. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. oh she's Couldn't pure gangster's mall, that one, I'm telling you. Annette Badland, though, is so... She's fantastic. Fabulous, she's done everything she? and she's just brilliant. She yeah. brings a real colour to her. It's lovely. And then you've got my mate, of course, Linda Henry. Oh, Shirley. Don't we gorgeous. love Shirley? Yeah. Yeah. She's cracking and all, she's isn't she? brilliant. What a fabulous actress. She, I oh, love she's, her. She's phenomenal. Yeah. She's so phenomenal. Yeah. And we were really lucky, um, I think, to have her as our sort of anchor and, when uh, we yeah. joined. Yeah. She really... Yeah. You know, she, to have someone like that who was so well established and who's so brilliant in the show to sort of bounce off, yeah. I, I'm sure that she was key actually in the success sure, of our family. You ate each other, you two. Don't oh, you? I love it. I, we, I, they're my favourites. Those little <laughs> scenes where we bicker and all. I just love it. Love it. Maddie, congratulations on your national telly award. Thank you. Yeah. Yay! The best newcomer. Yeah. Woo -woo! <laughs> and do you know what I love? That she's fallen in love now. Because, first of all, like, your mum and dad dragged you out of the wedding when you had your trackies on, didn't they? Wow. <laughs> wow. And now she's fallen in love, or she's falling she, in that, love. Not on screen, has she? I'm so careful what to give uh, I don't know. I We've think We've just you done a lot say... of filming together. I think you can say where... Well, where she's, she, she's, not, she's not confessed no. her love yet, but I think the audience yeah. can tell, oh, probably. Oh, what? Not many. <laughs> <laughs> I always say every can has a lid, and there's your lid, I'm telling you. Look, we've got a clip from next Monday's episode, which I'm not watching, because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The only reason you got off that sofa oh. was so that she could whoop me. Now, get out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and don't let this come between us. Oh, I won't. I won't mm. let it come between us.
Yeah, depending on who the dad is. Lee, you've got to pack it in saying things like that, Will. Can we go now or what? Yeah, it's only what everyone else is thinking. All right, ladies and gents, time to go. Come on, the pub will still be here tomorrow. Tell you what, Danny's a smashing fella, isn't he? Oh, he's great. What's he's it like great. having him as a husband and a dad? <laughs> well, you're not married, <laughs> are you? <laughs> no, we're not actually. We're not actually. And no. we're not actually as well. <laughs> no, but do people genuinely think in real life you're married? Oh, well, did they, all I get... Well, not all I get, but I, quite often I'll be approached by a lady of any age... I have to say, who will literally be like, you're so lucky. Imagine that when you're you your dad. You're so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did he say that to you oh, as well? God, you're so lucky, that's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? How dare you? Very yeah. confused. Yeah. <laughs> and poor old Stan's just died and all. That was oh, sad. I know. That episode. Oh, really oh, and he good. just married Cora. Oh, don't. <laughs> See what I mean at all? You know, for me, it's real. Seriously, I'm their grips. <laughs> Thinking this can't happen, this oh. cannot happen. Do you keep in touch? Because you were in the Archers, weren't you? I was. For and a long were, time. And you were also in the Upper Hand. And do you know what? Was, I'm, I'm really old, Paul. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you haven't changed since <laughs> she hasn't. Oh. Do you remember that you, man, you're only a baby, Maddie, aren't you? She is. Six and a half. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm 25. Not. Well, you don't look it, does she? <laughs> and when you've got no slap on and the track is in the air scraped yeah. up and everything, <laughs> it's like, must be easy for you to get into costume when you go into work. Oh, it's very comfortable. No makeup. <laughs> throw the tracks. I mean, you've got to do the full Monty with the bubbles. I know. Well, I do. <laughs> the bubble, <laughs> bubble air do. You know that. I always call them bubbles. <laughs> really, I'm going to call it a bubble now. From now bubble on. air. Yeah. Well, look, we've got a clip of your arrival in the upper hand. Seriously. Oh, no. yes, see. Mother. Mother. <laughs> Here she is. This is Joe. Ah, oh, she got that playing football. Joe, I want you to meet some very nice people. This is Mrs. West. Hello. Oh, pleased to meet you. And this is Mrs. Wheatley. Oh, very pleased to meet you, Mrs. Wheatley. You have a lovely home and you're so pretty. Thank you. I'm very flattered. That's the idea. <laughs> and this is Tom. Tom, this is Joe. Hello. Hello. See that? They're getting on like a house on fire. <laughs> You've hardly changed, has she? <laughs> you haven't. I would, I'd come oh, on a ponytail. <laughs> a ponytail as well. <laughs> Maddie, tell me, why did you spend a week living on the breadline? Oh, for um, a wonderful charity called Action Aid, who work uh, in extreme poverty with women and children. And so I lived on a pound a day for five days. Now, that's hard, a pound a day. What it did is. you eat on a quid a well, day? Well, okay, you could have your fiver to spend all on the Sunday night in one go. And I lived on rice, uh, tin tomatoes, eggs, porridge, oats. Good on you. Yeah, it, 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 it is tricky. It's so worth doing, though. It's so worth doing. But there's doing. people out there living on amazing. that diet, you know, relying on food banks Absolutely. to feed I've their got kids. A, I, I had, you know, I had variety and protein and, you know, people eating... All they can eat every day is rice. Do you see what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Um, I, what my diet was varied um, and you don't have any energy. Yeah. You don't have any fight. Yeah. So um, that's why it's so important for us to be doing these things and making this money. So a lot of that money is going towards um, the recovery in Nepal at the moment. Well, good on you, Jaya. Thank you. And listen, thanks for coming on the period. I Thank really you, appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, let's hear it for Kelly Wright and Maddie Hill. Come on. Yeah.